A shape's position can be read and controlled by its top and left properties. As a reminder, most visible things on PowerPoint slides are shapes. Let's see the position of this text box. We use a function to get the text box, since I'll be using this logic several times. Function get text box as shape. Set get text box equals active presentation dot slides one dot shapes text box one. Now show the position with this subroutine. Sub show shape position. Set TB equals get text box. Debug dot print text box left tb dot left debug dot print text box top tb dot top debug dot print text box right tb dot left plus tb dot width debug dot print text box bottom tb dot top plus tb dot height the shape object doesn't have a right and bottom property so we calculate it from the right as left plus width and bottom as top plus height. Executing. No surprises here. The top left coordinate is 0, 0. Let's move the text box to the top right and see what the coordinates are. Top is still 0. No surprise. Right is 960. Now if you're like me, you are asking 960 and what units. It takes some digging, but the unit is points. In display terms, a point is 1 72nd of an inch. 72 points is an inch. The bottom line is you can treat this like a fixed coordinate system. The only thing that can change is the bottom right if you change the aspect ratio of your slides, which would be a very deliberate action. Let's move the text box to the bottom right and run show shape position. The value to note here is bottom. Bottom is 540. And finally, to bottom left, and show shape position. Left is 0, and bottom is 540, as we would expect. Let's programmatically get the slide's size. Sub, show slide size. Debug.print, slide width. Active presentation, dot page setup, dot slide width. Debug.print, slide height. Active presentation, dot page setup, dot slide height. Now that we know how to get the slide size, we can use this to move any shape. First, let's move the shape to the bottom right. Sub, move shape bottom right. Set TB equals get text box. TB dot top equals active presentation dot page setup dot slide height minus TB dot height. TB dot left equals active presentation dot page setup dot slide width minus TB dot width. We have to make room for the shape's height, so we make its top property the slide height minus the shape's height. Same concept for the shape's width. Now top right. Sub move shape top right. Set TB equals get text box. TB dot top equals zero. TB dot left equals active presentation dot page setup dot slide width minus tb.width. Now bottom left. Sub move shape bottom left. Set tb equals get text box. tb.top equals active presentation dot page setup dot slide height minus tb.height. tb.left equals zero. Now top left. Sub move shape top left. Set tb equals get text box. tb dot top equals zero. tb dot left equals zero. Now in the middle of the slide, both width and height. Sub move shape middle middle. Set tb equals get text box. tb dot top equals active presentation dot page setup dot slide height divided by two minus tb dot height divided by 2. tb.left equals active presentation dot page setup dot slide width divided by 2 minus tb.width divided by 2. 
You could use these same techniques to move one shape relative to another shape, rather than relative to the edges of the slide.